Hey, hi you guys, Gemini. Welcome to your general forecast. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, but only take those portions that are resonating with you. And remember to check out your moon and rising and Venus sign videos for a more complete picture because my readings, they do meld together. And there is that free birth chart calculator link. It's in the description box below. There's three of them. You can pick out the one that you like the most. We're not just our sun sign. So I always have my signs written down. I always watch my rising sign and my moon sign for sure. You might want to have the person you're most interested in. You might want to have their signs written down because it comes out in the cards. Thank you for supporting my channel. I really appreciate you guys. And when you put a comment down below, you will get a free Angel Answers Oracle card message. Your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. This is the overall theme of the reading, Gemini. This could be your desire, the issue of the matter, the theme, your wants, your situation. This is the Six of Pentacles, Earth Energy. This is Moon in Taurus. This represents sharing, generosity. This is the Lord of Benefits. These are people being grateful. Grateful that they can share their time or their energy or their money. Grateful that they're being given to because they're needy. There's something that is needed. This is the card that tells us what goes around comes around. they're giving to this person in the yellow cloak but the one in the blue cloak has a red ticket in their pocket they may have already received something they want a little more the person that is the giver they're very passionate about this giving. But remember, if you're giving just so that you can get something else, and that is a selfish act. This scales also represent Libra. Balance, fairness, equity. second card king of cups water energy cancer scorpio pisces this could be a scorpio as i do read fixed energies for the kings well they're fixed to that seat they're stable this is someone that contains their emotions this is probably what could be blocking them be an obstacle because they're not talking about how they're feeling. This could be someone that wants to share their emotions and yet they may be holding them back. This is someone that could be a counselor, a mediator. someone that you can count on. You can rely on them. Your fourth card. This is the card of the future. This could be a lesson or a solution. 
the results. This could be a surprise. Predictions are often a surprise. You guys could help me out if you want to help me out with that YouTube al algorithm. Maybe you could share this video, even if it's just to your own self, into your Gmail. And we'll watch it, you know, like in a month. And then you can find out if it really did resonate with you. Because future predictions, they usually are a surprise. Unless you know the future. And another card come out. So I'm shuffling. The star. Now this is great hope, great love. It's your wishes coming true. This can be an Aquarius. The star lights your way. They are a guide. Your bottom of the deck. Ten of Wands. Fire energy. This is Sagittarius energies. It's Saturn in Sagittarius. This is a card of oppression and overload. Someone is working really hard to get this thing finished. They have to get something finished before they think that they can move on and start over with something a new, passionate thing that they want. They want to get this finished. Uh, and if you don't ask for help, then it'll be up to you to carry the load. This is a pr an oppressive situation. The tens are about endings and then new beginnings. There's a lot of hope for this situation. There can be emotional renewal and faith. Oops. Here is your love tarot that just popped out. I have to pick it up. And the card that came out is jealousy. I'm very jealous. I can barely stand it. Well, that can be that king of cups when he's in his negative energies. This is someone who is jealous. And they can barely stand it. Here's your hidden truth oracle. This is what is hidden. You could be hiding it from someone else, or someone is hiding this from you. Oh, it could be that this person is jealous because they are so attracted to you. Or it could be you're jealous because you are so attracted to them. Here's your Love Oracle card from Island Time Wellness. This is the Love Oracle card. To compliment your readings. I also have the Yes or No coin here. So if you want to get ready to ask your question, because it'll have a definitive answer, yes or no. I'll be spinning that coming up next. Here's your love oracle from uh, Island Time Wellness. Kisses. Interesting, <laughs> because we had I pulled some letters from the letter box in one of the past two readings, and the letters spelled out kiss. This is unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, and falling in love. Here's your coin. Remember, have a question in mind. But make sure it's a question that's uppermost in your mind, because that's what comes out anyway. You can't fool the universe. Here it comes, and it is a no. The answer is no, Gemini. Okay, now we're going to pick some letters. 
Here's your letters. We have a T. T Gemini. I like to drink tea. R. So we have a T and an R. You can't see them there. Okay. We have a U. Lucky you, like the horseshoe. T R U. We have a P. Letter P. We have an M. Letter M. Just made Trump. King of Cups is a Trump card. Letter B, letter B, another letter R, that's two R's, three more letters left, another M, so now you have two M's, a letter S, S, Gemini. Last letter. A. Letter A, Gemini. We're going to do numbers. This can be times, dates, a win. Number 80. That's an 8 and a 0. That's a very powerful number. Something that is done continually over and over. It's this infinity sign plus the 0. Now you have number 98. 98. Wow. That's a 17. The same as the star card. Those are also eights. Let's see, two eights, that represents new knowledge. And we've got letter 16. Letter number 16. Just use your intuition to what you think that these numbers represent. Number 25, number 25, which is also a seven. Two sevens, that's news and cycle changes. Your last letter, number two. Number two. And now for your names, Gemini. If you would like to put your name in the protection box, please leave your name down in the comment section below. Okay. Sophia. Sophia. Gemini. Jordan. Jordan. Faith. Faith. That could also be the star card representing faith. So have faith for the future. Sierra. Sierra. Two more names. Colin. Colin. Last name is Trevor. Trevor. Thanks, you guys, Gemini. I hope you stay tuned in by leaving me a thumbs up. Remember, goes around, comes around, so I'm sending you guys out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching. Okay, here's your new treat. She loves her new treats. Thanks, you guys.